In 2009, one of the deeper, more fecund cesspools of conspiracy theory on the internet published this column. What Obama and the Antichrist have in common. Uh, it was not satire. It was written by a young man named Joel Richardson. The column claimed that Barack Obama was not necessarily the Antichrist, but hey, just saying, the Antichrist is a satanically empowered man who will emerge as a powerful world leader. He will first emerge as a man of peace with a populist message and a large and popular following before he is revealed as the Antichrist. Ah, one whose name might rhyme with Shmarak Shmobama. The man who wrote uh, What Obama and the Antichrist Have in Common, the author of that, is now being booked by Fox News as an expert to explain to their viewers what is happening in Wisconsin and how it connects to Egypt. Because the Muslim Brotherhood is organizing the Madison protest in order to turn Wisconsin into part of the caliphate so labor unions will destroy Israel so you should store food and buy gold or something. Honestly, after a full week of broadcasts on their hour that is hosted by Glenn Beck, after a full week of coverage of the Egypt protests in which Mr. Beck explained to the viewers of Fox News that protests in Egypt meant that China was going to take over New Zealand and we should all start storing food because of the conspiracy to turn America into an Islamic state. After Fox News explained to its viewers for a solid week that that's how they should understand what was happening in Egypt. Now, now, especially if you do not watch Fox News, just so you're inoculated as to what you are likely to hear the next time a fervent Fox News viewer tells you what's going on in Wisconsin. Now it is important to know what it is that Fox News is telling its viewers about how to understand the protests in Wisconsin. Because what Fox News is telling their viewers involves the Antichrist. This is really to see how the people like Ahmadinejad and the leader of... Uh of uh, the Muslim Brotherhood view the the end of times or the way the world is where it's headed it's kind of spooky the story that everybody should be focused on today is not the Kardashians or anything else the one that should be on everybody's mind is happening today in Wisconsin the unions claim that the cuts will affect teachers but it's not the everyday teacher that this story is really all about it's about the people looking to create chaos on the backs of the worker when the world's focus is on Egypt. The financial pressure that is coming is going to mean that demonstrations, protests, God forbid riots, and maybe worse, are coming. Motivation. That is vital to understand when you're dealing with people who thrive on chaos or want a new world order. How do you know when you're entering the last days? Well, it's quite honestly, it's almost like, how do you know when Jesus is coming back? It's seven years of nightmare, and it's, it's just growing uh, problems. It's chaos, and it's war. I want to introduce you to Joel Richardson. He is the author of The Islamic Antichrist. How are you, sir? Very good. Good to see you. America, it will blow your mind. It will blow your mind. Tonight, it's big boy time. Tonight um, is not an episode that you casually watch and take out of context. Tonight you must consider the unthinkable. This is the Jesus side. This is what's in the book of Revelation of the Antichrist. This is the general story in case you don't know anything about Christianity. End of the world, Jesus comes back, but this is the story leading up. I did this about five years ago and uh, about wet my pants when I finished the research on it. We have to take a break. We're gonna come back and wait until you get to the mark of the beast. Next. Back with Joel Richardson and I, we're going through the end of times. Who is the beast, the Antichrist? That, I have to, just in terms of pure show, I mean, wait until you get to the mark of the beast. Next. I just, I mean, you, hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, Antichrist. They have called in an Antichrist expert to explain protests in Wisconsin over union rights. Uh, just to be clear, what are this young man's qualifications, the Antichrist expert, uh, to be Fox News' consultative expert on this, this subject? Just before my wife and I met, uh, there was a prophetess that prayed over my wife. And one of the things she said was she said, your husband, you'll marry someone that will have significant insight into the end times. And he'll release new prophetic understanding concerning the end times to the church and to the world. 
He will release his new prophetic understanding about the end times. See, he's a prophet. He's a self-proclaimed end times prophet who Fox News is calling on to explain the Wisconsin protests to America's conservatives. I say this not just to point and shriek, uh, but because what happens on Fox News and in conservative media really influences how American conservatives think. Even when it's so unbelievably out there, you can't really believe that anybody would believe it. You remember the whole what Obama and the Antichrist have in common guy? Crazy, right? Yes, that's crazy. But you cannot understand right-wing politics in America without understanding that the Obama and the Antichrist guy is being booked this week as an expert on Fox News. And without understanding that when even the craziest reaches of right-wing media talk about this stuff, conservatives listen to it. In 2009, a polling firm asked self-identified conservatives in New Jersey, do you think Barack Obama is the Antichrist? 35% of conservatives in New Jersey said either yes or they were not sure and they were willing to consider the possibility. 35%. And that was before Fox News opened our eyes as to how the Antichrist was the key link between Hosni Mubarak and collective bargaining rights for dentists in Wisconsin. I am not just pointing this out because it is amazing that what you used to only be able to hear on pre-dawn AM radio shows about UFO visitations, you now can get 5 p.m. daily on what effectively is Republican state television. I am pointing this out because one of your more gullible conservative friends or relations sometime soon is going to come to you and tell you that the Antichrist is why Hosni Mubarak was a good guy and the Antichrist is why firefighters in your town should not have Blue Cross Blue Shield. It is going to happen and you should know why when it does.